Hello everyone. I'm Kyle Nordrum and I'd like to share my journey with remote temperature monitoring. In 2019, the VHA Innovation Ecosystem launched the initiative to end diabetic limb loss through remote temperature monitoring. This was an important commitment to all of us in VA for a number of reasons. One in four veterans has diabetes. Throughout their life, roughly one in five veterans with diabetes will develop a diabetic-related foot problem. The cost of these diabetic-related foot problems is staggering and estimated at $3.2 billion per year. While there's a huge financial cost, the greatest cost is to the veteran. Veterans with diabetic-related foot ulcers have very high recurrence rates and five-year mortality rates that exceed many forms of cancer. Our diabetic veterans often develop foot problems because they have lost the sensation in their feet. They can't feel pain. Your first thought might be, no pain, that sounds great, but we need pain. Pain protects us. When we don't feel pain, we don't know if there's a problem. This happens all too often with patients with diabetes. They develop neuropathy, numbness in their feet, and if they develop a blister or even break a bone, they often don't realize it right away. The longer it takes to discover a diabetic foot ulcer, the worse it gets, and sometimes it can lead to serious infection. If caught too late, these infections can lead to an amputation or even death. With remote temperature monitoring, we can replace that lost sensation, that lost warning signal, to help predict serious foot problems before they occur. We ask our highest risk veterans to stand on a mat about the size of a bathroom scale for just 20 seconds a day. In the amount of time it takes you to wash your hands, we are preventing amputations and hospitalizations. When our highest risk veterans, veterans place their feet on this mat, we are able to take thousands of temperature readings of their feet. We can compare these readings over time to detect temperature asymmetries, which can help us predict ulcers an average of five weeks before they occur. The earlier we catch a problem, the easier it is to treat. To date, we've issued more than 3,000 smart mats to veterans across the country, and they've taken more than 650,000 scans of their feet. Through multiple quality audits, as well as published research on this program, we are finding significant reductions in diabetic foot ulcers, amputations, hospital admissions, and total costs. At my local VA in Cincinnati, we have had a very positive feedback from veterans and providers using remote temperature monitoring. Many veterans rave about how easy it is to use, and a majority use their mats at a clinically meaningful level, even after one year of being enrolled in the program. One veteran we serve enjoyed using his mat so much that he went on a vacation to Florida, he brought his mat with him. He continued his daily scans, and his specialty care team was able to pick up on a temperature asymmetry, likely caused by his increased activity while on vacation. With a telehealth follow-up, his Cincinnati team was able to examine his feet and educate him on strategies to reduce his localized inflammation. This simple intervention resolved his hotspot and the patient remains also free to this day. Had his team not been able to monitor him remotely, his story might have ended very differently. Recently, I had a close family member who had a very different experience. This loved one developed redness and swelling in their foot that they thought was gout. They proceeded to treat these symptoms as they had in the past with oral medication, hoping the problem would go away. Unfortunately, the symptoms only got worse, and after a few days of increasing swelling and redness, they noticed a wound between their toes that was so deep they could see bone. At this point, they were referred to a podiatry surgeon, and the only treatment option to deal with the localized infection was an amputation. I frequently wonder if this family member was a veteran enrolled in remote temperature monitoring, would they have had a different outcome? would they have avoided an amputation? While my own journey with remote temperature monitoring started out at the Cincinnati VA working with the local team, it has since expanded to helping spread this program across the entire VA. There's a vast team working to help improve and disseminate this practice. This team includes our first champion, VA's head of podiatry and amputation prevention program. It also includes our first investor, the director of the VA's Office of Health Equity, in addition, multiple frontline providers and innovation specialists have been collaborating to build care models, while telehealth leaders have built the infrastructure that enabled national scaling of this program. We've had prosthetic services leaders uh, work to provide veterans the tools to participate in this program, and we've had researchers who launched a national scale clinical and economic impact study, as well as a study on health equity impacts of remote temperature monitoring. Our diffusion experts have addressed the governance and policy aspects of scaling this program, and many more partners have contributed the development and dissemination of this practice. 
With the work of this amazing team, we've been able to expand remote temperature monitoring to 93 VA facilities, with more being added every week. We've enrolled thousands of veterans, and our team continues to try and find ways to reach more high-risk veterans. Our goal is to make sure every eligible veteran has access to this program. We believe that no veteran should have to lose their limb to diabetes. Each one of you watching this video can have a positive impact on our veterans at risk for limb loss. Maybe you are a provider looking to start this program at your facility. Maybe you're a medical center or visiting director who wants to focus on preventative rather than reactive healthcare. Or maybe you are a veteran with diabetes who would like to prevent future problems with your feet. No matter who you are, you can be part of the change happening across VA as we work to eliminate diabetic limb loss. Please reach out to me if you would like to learn more about this program and the national funding that is currently available to help spread this practice. I'll leave you with a short video, one of our current veterans enrolled in this program and his experience with remote temperature monitoring. Thank you. I'm able to take walks on the beach with my wife. I'm gonna be able to keep my feet, Dr. Brantley say that. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't have the care and concern from the people at the VA. They've changed my life for the better because I'm here to watch my family grow.